Welcome YTPC, Edwin here from Central Texas Friday. How you guys doing? I'm hoping your weekend starts great. I have a few more hours and then it will start for me. I don't have a big schedule or plan this weekend. I'll probably watch some NBA, basketball, you know? Oh, and I think on Sunday I got invited to a friend's house, you know, there's some grilling, get together and all that. That would be fun. And today, water, Zippo, tamper on the ready. And I'm almost done right here. This is my Peterson Merchant, African Merchant. Look at that rustication, love it. I love that transition of colors. How cool is that? K and P Peterson stamp right there. And you need to love those curves, right? Just a classic, classic design. It clenched beautifully. And I'm smoking immersion because for, you know, I'm not a big aromatic guy, but I jump in in the same boat as, as everyone else. And I got some of this San Espresso by Warp and Cornell and Dill. And this is a, it's an aromatic. She'll have some espresso type of flavors. It's a triple Cavendish mixture, okay, by Kyle Gellis and Jeremy Reeves. And if I understand correctly, it does have some red Virginia Cavendish. It does have some cigar leaf Cavendish, and that's pretty unique and different. And one of the reasons why I went for it i got a couple of it and kentucky or burley cavendish i forgot let me show you how it looks pretty good you can see all the different leaves and it's cut all over the you know it's random cut right there but easy to pack great moisture levels you can just pack it like that and light it up no issues okay it doesn't leave Anything, any gunk in the bowl, it smokes great all the way in. It's a great smoke. Very smooth, like with Cavendish, you get this velvety, creamy smoke. I'm almost done here, but guys, a lot of smoke. And the room note is pretty good. The last night, my wife commented on that. In terms of what I get, more than anything, it's like dark cocoa, some hints of vanilla, and that mixture kind of gives me that espresso hints every now and then. I do enjoy that. I still get some of the tobacco taste. In the retro hell, I get a little bit, a little bit of like some type of tingling or spice. I don't know if it's the cigar leaves. And an easy smoke, no tom bite. You can keep smoking this all day long, no problem. It's probably in the medium in terms of nicotine, low to medium range. And I'm done. Yeah, I'm done here. It's a great smoke, guys. I think I won't be like hunting down, you know, and paying crazy prices for it. But if you got a couple, you know, it's a good aromatic. And for someone like me that I'm not a huge fan of it, it's definitely one that I will keep around when I don't want to, you know, to go with vapors or, or Englishes or Balkans. Great one to, you know, to clean the palate, you know? It will go great with coffee, beer, water, just whatever you want, guys. And guys, that's my little first impressions regarding this San Espresso by Warp and Cornell and Deals. I'm hoping you have a great rest of your Friday and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Edwin out.